Highland News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Wednesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. New at midday in the wake of all the flash flooding on Oahu, wet roadways remain and also debris, including this down line on the windward side. And this could be seen on Kalaheo Avenue near White Sands Place. Traffic does not appear to be impacted, but definitely an eyesore for those in the area. And last night's heavy rain also caused at least two sewers to overflow threatening two canals and a sewage spill in Kailua happened just before eight last night on Popo'ia Road. Now more than 3,000 gallons of untreated wastewater spilled from a manhole. About 200 gallons entered Ka'elepulu Canal. The public is asked to stay out of the affected water until those signs are taken down. ANV also responded to a sewer overflow in Kalihi at about 6.45 last night. And this spill on North School Street was secured just after 8.15, but not before spewing about 6,800 gallons of wastewater from a manhole. And the sewage flowed into the two storm drains, which led into Kapalama Canal. A traffic alert for drivers headed over the Pali toward Kailua. A section of the roadway has reopened, and Honolulu police say the Pali had shut down just before 8 p.m. last night. This is all due to a mudslide from from yesterday's downpour on Oahu. And the road was closed from Upper Nu'uanu Pali Drive through the tunnels Kailua bound as of 3.30 a.m. this morning. The scene has since been cleared and the Pali once again open to traffic. And the Honolulu Zoo is now back open after being completely rained out yesterday. Crews are currently working to remove mud and debris from walkways and also clean animal habitats. And due to the ongoing cleanup, some animals may only be visible later in the day. So we'll have more on Island News tonight at 5 Five, six and ten and as always you could go to kitv.com for the very latest news updates up next we'll have weather